Hey y'all, it's Island Coupon Gal. I wanted to show you my collective Rite Aid haul starting Monday, October 22nd. Finished up yesterday, October 23rd. It's the wee hours of the 24th Wednesday. Um, long, long night, y'all, but I want to do this video really quickly. So, if you watched my last video, you know that I did attempt to do the deals on Monday, and this store does not, none of the stores have the Halloween dial soap, but this store didn't even have the white tea foamy soap. They didn't have any of the suave that I was looking for. Basically, there wasn't a whole lot that I wanted to do. I just wanted to roll my ups. Got all confused. If you watched my last video, you know that the girl was sifting through my ups, trying to quote unquote help me find the appropriate ups that I was looking for because I was complaining about something. I can't remember how it all started. But um, my math got all thrown off. She did not ring up my $2 in-ad coupons. Well, two of the $2 in-ad coupons for the Skin Cement or the Edge, whatever. I had four total. Two of them were not rang up. And one of my $3 Tux coupons were not rang up. So incidentally, this is $0.19 cents after gold discount and $3 in-ad coupon. I had the $4 off two Tux. Some people have the $2 coupons. These are $5.59 with gold. So after the $2 manufacturer and $3 in-ad, these become $0.59. Cents. These were each $2.79 with gold, which I don't understand because some of them were, mar were marked at regular price $3.29, not sale price, but regular price $3.29, and I believe it was this one. I'm not 100%, but whatever. With gold, they were $2.79. Um, so that was like what? I don't know. I had the $2 in-ad coupons and the $1.50 off two printables. The Dove Men Plus Care are two for seven. I had two of the $2 manufacturer coupons, which took off $4.00. Paid three and got back two, so 50 cents each. Great deal. If you've done the Dove monthly deal already and maxed it out, this is a part of that monthly deal, so do it on a different card. Also, my $2 manufacturer coupons all beeped. The One Touch Vario IQ, these are on sale all month for $19.99. We have the $30 manufacturer coupon out of the Walgreens Diabetes Magazine, so it's about $10 in overage. So that being said, that's the only reason I did the Alka-Seltzer deal. This is spend 30, get $10 back. Buy one, get one half off. So all of these were $6.99. Buy one. And so four of them, no. Three of these were $6.99. Two of them were half off at $3.64, I want to say. $3.49. And then this one was $5.99. So that would have been my sixth one. So that would have became $2.99, right? So that was right over $30. <clears throat> I had six of the $2 manufacturer coupons for any Alka-Seltzer Plus, Plus product, which just came out in the October 21st insert. They all beeped as well. So looking at my receipt, I realize you all see I have six of them, right? So there is one at Gold's, and then way down here at the bottom are two more at buy one, get one half off. So she only rang up three. Now three of them prompted for my um, birthday, so I don't know if those accidentally got voided. I don't know. But as I mentioned earlier, maybe I mentioned in the other video, Two of my in-ad coupons, $2 in-ad coupons, did not get applied. And then one of my $3 in-ad coupons did not get applied. So this whole transaction was all screwed up. I was only doing the Alka-Seltzer because of the $10 overage from the Vario IQ. I wanted to fill it in with things that gave me um, plus-ups back, but only $16 tracked towards the spend 30 get 10 So that got all screwed up. The Scunchy, these were $2.31 with my discount. These were $1.99 with my discount by two. Get a $3 plus up limit two per card. The first transaction I did with the Bonnie Bell, um, I had enough of the $1.89 lip glosses, so I picked up eight of those. $1.51 with gold discount. So those became $10.50. Nope, nope, nope. It was like $12 and change. And then I had four of the dollar off two manufacturer coupons. Those wouldn't even scan, but they did push them through. So I paid eight and got back nine. Still a great money maker, but on my second card, I actually figured out a better scenario. And I believe Michelle's Frugal Living was talking about this as well in her in store video. If you buy four of them at gold discount for the dollar eighty nine items, these are dollar fifty one each. Four of those total you six oh four. And then two of these, these are regular price $2.79. With gold, they become $2.23. Two of those is $4.46. So these are $10.50 for all six of these. Use three of the dollar off two manufacturer coupons. You'll pay $7.50 and get back nine. I think that's a pretty good deal. And these smell really good. I've had these before. Okay, so for my first transaction, oh, where's my little breakdown? Sorry, guys. It was really, really weird, but for my first transaction, I used $15 in ups, and I only earned $17 because 
didn't get that back. And then I actually had too many coupons. She used all six of the $2 um, manufacturer coupons. So I guess it was a trade-off for not using $4 of the in-ads and $3 of that. So whatever. But I will go back and try to fix that. I did go to a different store looking for the Suave and the Dial. I found some of the Dial white tea tree foaming. Um, my area did not get any of the Halloween soaps, so I made do with what I found. There were actually four on the shelf, but there was a lady that came up right behind me and was kind of like, she wasn't huffing and puffing, she was really polite, but she, I knew she wanted those dials, and I felt bad, so I offered her two of them, and she was so, so happy. So I felt pretty good about that. And then the Suave. Spend 10, get three, buy one, get one half off. Um, I was in Pittsburgh when we got the $2 coupons. That area got $2 off too, but when I came home at Walgreens, they had some of the Sunday papers, and they had the $2 off one coupons. So let me get into that in a second. Um, I tried to give them three of the Alka-Seltzer uh, Plus products, and they told me that because the items were not from the store, that giving them to the store wouldn't do them any good. So when I make it to that store, I'll make it. I will take those back and ask them what they want to do to fix the whole manufacturer coupon and in-out coupon thing, but I am not making a special trip an hour away one way. I'm not. Okay, so the dial. We all know about the dial. I picked up Red Bull. This was the transaction that I did earlier on the 23rd where I had $28 in plus ups expire. I'm sick. I'm like literally sick. $28 in plus ups expired. So I was a little bit perturbed, so I did roll $45 onto a gift card. Real briefly, from what I understand, as long as your manufacturer coupons, as long as the gift card amount does not exceed the total amount of manufacturer coupons you have in that transaction, you can get the gift card and then play, use your plus ups to pay for all of your other items, if that makes any sense. I am certainly no expert at this, but I'm just letting you know what I kind of gathered from the whole thing. I guess the post is no longer available, and I'm not quite sure why, so I really don't want to go into it much more than that. I did have the 35 cent manufacturer coupons for the dial. Now, at this store, things are way more expensive, so the Suave at buy one, get one half off was $3.79 for two of them, and then two of them were $1.89, so that totaled me $11.36. I had four of the $2 manufacturer coupons, which took off $8, so I paid $3.36 out of pocket and got back three. My load to card coupon did not come off, and I did make sure it was clipped before I went. I had clipped it a while ago. It did not come off, so I kind of anticipated this being at least free or like a 64 cent money maker, but I paid 36 cents out of pocket for these. These, I was so disappointed. This was marked on the shelf as regular price 349, but then my receipt says it's regular price 369. Whatever, I paid like $2.91 or something crazy for that. This one was like two, 286. Let me double check on that, guys. Crazy for the skin, for the edge. I'm sure y'all don't care. I'm sure you guys already done your deals. Oy. But $2.95 for the one that was marked as regular price $3.49, not sale price. And then the Shave Comfort was marked at, oh, $3.49 regular price, and it came up for $2.79. Whatever. $1.50 off, two manufacturer coupon, two $2 off in ad coupons. I finally found some of the Air Wick. Candles on clearance for $1.49. Use the dollar coupon. Got two of these at 19 cents each. Nope. At this store, they were 59 cents each because they were regular price $6.99 each. I did the Nature Made deal, and I split it up into three separate transactions. I wanted to do the spend 30, get 10. I had a $7 manufacturer coupon to use on this one. This one was $11.99. goes towards the Diabetes Club. So then this one became half off. This is also towards the Diabetes Club. And that one was $2.89. Then the second set was $5.79 for the Nature Made Vitamin D. The magnesium was $2.74 half price. I believe regular price was $5.49. And then in a third transaction, I also did the same thing. So I had $31.94 in vitamins. I had the $7 manufacturer coupon and five of the $2 manufacturer coupons that came out in the $10.14 smart source, I want to say. And those ones actually scan. I was so happy. So I had $17 in manufacturer coupons. I paid $14.94 out of pocket and got back my $10, which you may think, wow, you paid $5 for these vitamins, but $26.46 tracked towards the Diabetes Club, which puts me right at my edge of getting another $10 um, diabetes reward back, so I kind of felt like it was worth it. Now, with these Ricola, these are regular price $4.99 at that store, 
So with 20% discount, they rang up for $3.99. So I used the dollar manufacturer coupons. I had to throw in the Scooby-Doo Pop at $1.03 to use $7 worth of plus ups to pay a penny subtotal and get back five. So I traded seven plus ups and got back five, but I did get this lollipop. Limit one per card. So then I did this on my husband's card as well. I bought three more of these to finish out the deal and uh, buy one, get one half off. These ones were $7.49, half off. This one was $6.99. My 20% discount came off. And I got back my $10 plus up. The Frizzies deal did not work, as I told you in my last video. So I spent $32 minus my $12 in manufacturer coupons. These all beeped as well, said no matching item. So I paid, what, $18? I paid like $20 bucks out of pocket and only got back $10. Not the greatest deal at all, but okay, sera sera. The Red Bulls on sale for $5.99 each. I just picked up three of them. So my total breakdown, let me show you real quick, as if this is going to make any sense to you. These are all the plus-ups I used <laughs> in all six of those transactions. So my total spent was 155 plus-ups. Y'all, I still have over 100 banked, at least 150, including the ones I got back for today and the ones that expired. That's another $30 that expired. So I have been swimming in plus-ups. I need to slow down a little bit. I earned 73 in plus ups plus a $45 gift card and I lost out on about $10 from the John Frieda double dip and I paid about 18 out of pocket in plus ups for the Red Bull so not so bad. 306 was my total out of pocket subtotal and I paid 1573 in tax. Rite Aid is killing me with this tax guys. Can't take it. So yeah, just another basic Rite Aid haul. I'm sure you've seen a thousand of them this week but I just thought I'd show you what I got. Some of the stuff that was going on in my store. I will definitely go fix that Alka-Seltzer stuff because I do not want them to think I tried to smuggle these out of the store. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and real quickly, I thought this was the cutest thing. This is the gift card I got today. I thought this is the cutest thing. I looked at my purse, and my son had pulled a bunch of these blankies at Rite Aid. It's a dollar off one Aussie product. We usually get BOGO. I think we've gotten BOGO coupons for these in the past. I know these go on sale at, at CVS quite frequently, and they don't expire until next year, so you might want to look for the little top, the little smart source coupon machine at Rite Aid right by the Aussie products. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.